Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, June 19th, 2021, week number... 133. 133. Good Lord. I can't believe how fast and how long we've been doing this. It's been a great journey. Yeah. It is it has. beautiful outside. Look at our flag in the back. Yep. A um, little on the warmer, uh, cooler side, I should say, today. Uh, it's been... I think it feels beautiful out here. <laughs> I have long sleeves on. Okay. It's going to be one of those days. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, when we're talking about weights, I think last week I was 330, 330. even, mm -hmm. and I was a little perplexed by that, and I jumped on today. I've done nothing different. My card manager's all the same and everything, and I was 333. So I'm up three. I don't know why. I don't I don't even have an answer for you. It yeah. just is. Weird. Yeah. And I was like down six like two weeks ago for, again, no, nothing I could pinpoint. I eat the same stuff all the time. This morning I had two eggs, two pieces of uh, bacon, and um, a little bit of uh, Kerrygold butter. And that was it. Hmm. So I don't know. Anyway. Ah, uh, <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> just, I just shake my head. I don't get it sometimes. Yeah, you still got a lot going on. Still in a lot of pain. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, But I'm just trying to stay positive, keep moving, doing physical therapy, taking the medicines. Yeah. Using a hot tub. Definitely using a hot tub. That's pretty awesome. So yeah. last, I, I've been on the struggle bus. Um, ended up going back to the doctors this Thursday. Uh, the my asthma's been out of control. My migraines have been out of control, and that's all thanks to perimenopause. I'm not liking it. The hot flashes are getting <laughs> more and more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poor Bill. <laughs> Yeah, she's either covered up to her neck like she's freezing, and it's the same temperature as when she lays down and says, It's hot in here! And um, it's the same temperature when we lay down, too. So I'm like, honey, it's just, it's. I think it's about like 66, 67 in the house <laughs> to keep you cooler. Right. But it doesn't change. The thermostat's set, and it's not changing, so I don't understand how... It's just the body's changing for you. I am not loving it. Um, last week I weighed in at 147. This week I'm at 146. Um, still not anywhere near where I'd like to be. I'd like to just everything level out. I, I just, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not happy with this whole perimenopause thing. Um, yeah, I don't know how much that's affecting your ability to lose or just in general your body. Yeah. I know you're swelling a lot. Swelling a lot. The doctor said that, um... My hormones are just out of whack, which is probably what's causing the migraines all of a sudden because I've had them under control for quite a while. A long time ago, I took Depakote um, on a daily basis, and I don't want to have to get back to doing that um, to control the migraines. And unfortunately, I got to get two weeks in and see, um, gave me some nasal sprays thinking maybe it might be tension headaches um, or allergies, which I don't have. But you have a head of stuffy nose lately. Yeah, I've had a little bit of a stuffy nose. Um, so everything looked inflamed in your nose. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm. I'm, I, I'm <laughs> you have been just... spending a lot of time outside too, working in the garden and the yeah, yard. Yeah, but it's not like I'm sneezing or anything. I guess. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. it could be that things are changing and your hormones and stuff are changing. And now look at cats. We used to have cats, loved them, had them, never a problem. And then had babies. Ten and... years later, fifteen years later, was oh, let's get another little kitty. And Stacy was allergic. Yes. So where did that come from, right? I mean, exactly. The body changes. Changing. Yeah. yeah. Things change. So I hey, guess uh, it happens. But um, uh, go ahead. I was gonna say we uh, did something fun the other night. I don't know what it is, but the meatballs. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna go there, but I just was letting you speak. Go ahead. So yeah, we did. Uh, we did some meatballs. It's uh, Stacy worked it all all morning and then all night and came home really late and I hadn't seen her all day or all night and I said you know we got to make these meatballs so let's just turn the camera on and do it <laughs> and uh, we had two choices I could clip the heck out of it and make it like a seven minute video and or I could just kind of hang out and roll the meatballs and talk and that's what we did so it's like 28 minutes long <laughs> but the gist of it is all in that first four minutes so if you grab the recipe and you try the recipe. I encourage you at least to, to do that, and then if you want to hang out and listen to us chat and talk about <laughs> silly stuff, 
then, uh, you know, hang out and watch the 28 minutes of us making the meatballs. But <laughs> yeah, but it's all right there in the description and at bonsaikido.com as well as uh, right in the beginning of the video is here's what we put in there. Couldn't have been more simple. It's just an evolution of the recipe and uh, it's changed over a couple years now. Yeah. And, and now uh, I think it's way better. And uh, once I started seeing them disappear on large scales, I knew I had something good. So I started writing things down and yeah, and that's how, that's how that came about. So it's just an evolution. I think we made about 140 meatballs. Yep, uh, <laughs> 70 per batch, and we did eight pounds total, so it was uh, 140. Yeah, they freeze really well, so it's nice. Sure That's do. what I Zip we freeze lock. them smaller, and then I take them for lunch and. Yeah, you usually grab a three or four pack, right? Yeah. These ones four pack because they're a little smaller, 1.5 ounce each. It's not so small. For me, four or five of them is usually a good <laughs> little meal. But yeah, and everything's in there. The recipe, which is really simple, and. Um, the macros and everything are in there so yeah, yeah. grab that uh video and look in the description or go to bonsaikido.com and you'll see bill's meatball recipe <laughs> and stacy's i put actually moved it i moved yours up because it was a while ago i moved it right up underneath mine so, so if somebody wanted difference. to really experiment one day they could do stacy's recipe and then they could do my recipe and do the side by side because i actually did that I made it the way you were making it, and then I made it the way I was making it, and I put them to the sides, and then I said, okay, taste these, see what you think, and you're like, oh, this is so much better. What did you yeah. do different? I'm like, well, I've been doing stuff different for a long time, but <laughs> yeah, here's where we're at. So, they're pretty good. Oh, they're really good. That's what I'm having yeah. for lunch today. I had a couple of meatballs the other day. I don't think that gave me three pounds, but I don't know what's going on with my body. Uh -huh. I don't know, and you know what's funny is I've actually been way more active this last week because I started physical therapy, um, you know, they put you on this machine, this machine. I, I spent like an hour and 45 minutes in there on physical therapy. So I'm like, hey, you know, my Fitbit numbers are up and yeah. I don't know. And then I jump on the scale and I'm like, what the heck? Three pounds. Where is it? Where's that coming from? Don't know. I don't even have an answer. I can't even say it's because I didn't go to the bathroom because I have gone to the bathroom. I don't have an answer other than just my body's a mystery. <laughs> aren't, aren't we all a mystery? My body's a wonderland, right? <laughs> John Mayer or whatever it is. Your body's a wonderland. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. we got to get Stacy off to work today. Uh, tonight we're going to have my oldest daughter coming home for the weekend. Basically, she'll just raid the refrigerator and do laundry. <laughs> But it'll be nice to see her. I'll take <laughs> and it. And eat meatballs. She's going to eat meatballs. Yes. Yeah. So I'll take it. I miss her. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you guys all have a great week. And um, I have no idea what's going on with the keto. I eat so basic, it's not even funny. Maybe I just need to not eat. <laughs> Do the, we probably both need to get back into some fasting. Do the Dr. Fung thing, right? It's been a while since I reread his books. Maybe I'll reread them and get re-inspired to try and close get windows some, down yeah. and do some fasting. Yeah. It's cheap. I like cheap. <laughs> Birdie birdies, you hear them? Cheap, cheap. It's a hint. I can hear the birds. <laughs> cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> Don't eat. And you'll say bunny. <laughs> I love you. It's a calorie deficit thing. Anyway, anyway, silly boy. Have a great weekend. Have a good everybody. one. We'll see ya. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, Bye. and happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. New Year's is going to be tomorrow. Yeah. All right. See you later. Maybe I'll get a new stove. Maybe. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Here's a stove that when you push the buttons, they don't go. Right. Our, our stove starts at 315, then you turn the up button to, to go up. It's digital. And it sticks. So when you touch it, it goes like to 500. <laughs> And then you gotta like start hitting the down button to try and bring it back. Yeah, it's, it's just a pain. It's 20 years old. It's ready to go. It is. Plus, it burns everything. In the back of the stove, it burns. In the front, it's not cooked. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. I don't like the stove, it's but time. it's time soon. Yes. The scrappers can come take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it out there and somebody will take it like within a day, I bet. The wind is definitely That's fine. picking up. Or I'll put it on Craigslist or Free Cycle. Yeah. Just come pick it up. It's on the curb. Somebody will take it for recycling. Yep. Or to rebuild it or take, I don't know. Who knows? I just want a new one. I'm tired of messing with it. <laughs>
All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.